Carrie and Tracy, I am up on the main level of the house on the, the deck. I'm gonna get pictures of the neighboring homes for you so that you can see them. This uh, house has a really nicely landscaped yard. I think that live oak is actually in the neighbor's yard, uh, but it is a beautiful tree. Everyone uh, that we've seen walking down the street this morning has been very friendly. Uh, the person that lives in that blue house right there came out and said, hey, it's a nice neighborhood. Uh, and everybody's walking around talking to everybody. There are two parking spaces in at least two parking spaces. You could stack uh, shorter cars uh, in the driveway. Um, and then there are two parking spaces under the house. I'm going to turn around so that hopefully you can see um, the front porch. Uh, but it, um, so there, there's the front porch and I'll get the stairs going down to the backyard. So there are solar lights at the top and bottom of the stairs. You can see that one. And here's one up here. And you've got a nice fenced yard. I'll get the backyard in another video. But I wanna take you through um, what it would be like to walk into the house. Um, Lisa found this, which is awesome. This is a screen that comes over. Um, I think it ma magnetically connects over here, um, but it gives you a nice uh, screen door without taking up all the space. Let me see if I can figure out how to open it. Oh, look at that. I love it when things work right. Okay, so you enter into the great room. So this is what we were talking about yesterday on a typical beach box. It's one great room uh, living area that's gonna be the living room, kitchen, and dining area. Uh, they have really nice light fixtures in here. The kitchen has granite countertops, stainless appliances, and they are the doll kind that don't show fingerprints. They're all GE appliances. It is an electric range, dishwasher, and then turning around to see the dining room. There's the front door again. So we're back where we started. And then going down the hallway, it is a central hall. This first door will take you downstairs to the laundry area. So I'll do that in a second video. Going down the hallway, the first room that we come into is a full bath. This is a molded uh, tub and shower. There's the shower head. And there is a linen closet in here that you can see. Nice storage area. Okay, I hope I don't make you dizzy when I turn around. There we go. And there's the sink from this side. They um, are shaker doors and the cabinetry is the same throughout the house. Here are the floors. I believe that they're hardwoods. The carpet is the same throughout the house. It is a tan and white flecked berber. The master bedroom has space for a king size bed, as you can see shown here. Windows on both sides of the room for good natural light. And then we go into the master bath. Tile floors. Sink. They have tiled around the top of the bathtub and they have a nice uh, deep soaking tub. The window has a film on it for privacy, but it lets in good natural light. And the toilet, which is a comfort height toilet, is behind the door. There's a nice closet there. Uh, for, that's a huge TV, by the way. I wish I could tell you how big, but I'm gonna say 55 or 60 inches, just guessing. Really nice uh, closet here in the master. There are two rows for hanging across the back. And then as you step into the closet along the back, there is space for uh, hanging long clothes. And they have uh, a lot of things in the closet because they are packing to move. Now, I'm gonna go into the other two bedrooms that are on the other side of the hall. This is the larger of the two guest bedrooms. 
So I already counted, it's about 13 feet across. Um, it looks a little wider than it is. I'm gonna guess it's 15 or 16 feet uh, long ways. The bed would go on this wall. You might be able to put a king size bed. I think you could put a king size bed in here. The bed that's there appears to me to be a full, not a queen. It could be a queen. It's very hard for me to tell the difference in size between a full and a, and a queen bed. Um, smaller closets in these bedrooms. Um, but they do extend a little bit past the door on each side. Okay. And they, again, they have a lot of things in here. Um, as I go into the third bedroom, you're going to see that they have a lot of boxes in it. It is a smaller bedroom. I'm going to guess it is around 13 by 13. But it, you could, um, it would definitely set up as a bedroom or even a home office. And there's another closet in here that's probably the same size. Yes, it is. Looks to me to be the same size as the closet in the second bedroom. And jam-packed. So you can see it does go back a little further. So I'm going to turn around. This uh, bed bedroom is being packed up since they're moving. Um, actually, I'm looking at the, this. This is a queen mattress, so it must have been a queen, a queen um, in the in the second bedroom. And I'm going to go out just one more time so you can see an overview of the living area. And there's the kitchen again. Okay, I'm gonna do the next video is going to be walking downstairs and getting the laundry room.